is up guys welcome to today's youtube video today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve a four by four so i'm gonna start by scrambling mine so i'm using the mo you may long four by four so the first step of the four by four is solving the centers and what I mean by solving the centers is doing this. Make a solve center. Um, what you want to do is if you have a bar, you're going to, and if it's here, you're going to pull it up. And then it's going to form another bar. You're going to twist the top, pull it back down, and now you have a boomerang. And if you know 2x2, two two, you could just insert this with a 2x2 two two white, white, uh... Face algorithm. Where's my 2x2? I'll, I'll give an example. So the 2x2 white face, you have to do this algorithm. You have to do uh, this algorithm. You could just insert... Wait, no, that's not the algorithm. That's the algorithm. You're, you could just insert it the same way. Now I just gotta solve this. Give me a minute. So you could just insert that like that, or you could do something like this. But you can't do that for all the centers. You could just make it, you could just hold it, make it form a bar, put your back, and pull it up. Which is, which makes the white center. Next will be more difficult, because there's already a center formed. Which means we're going to have to build this without destroying the other center. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make the bar... And then make the make the center like this. You just insert, make it a bar, pull it down, and then bam. Um, so I usually start with the blue side here. So you're going to do the same thing. Make the centers. And then, so if you hold the white up, Blue, red should be here. That's how it should be. Because if red is not there, you will get F2L parity. And then the cube, and then some other parodies that is unsolvable. See? Red should be this side with white up. And, and then green should be on the back. If you have a 3x3, three three, you could just pick there, that color scheme. This is the correct color scheme. If you do any other color scheme... It's incorrect, and then you'll get F2L parity. So next step, next step is edge pairing. So you're going to find two of the same block. You're going to pair them up. See, now there's a pair. So you're going to pick one of these in the top or bottom layer, and then down, face, Right up, face, back. And then you're going to fix the centers. And now you have, this pair is now safely in the top layer. And then you can continue that. And there's also some algorithms that you do at the end. So, there's a pair. Pair it up. Um, bring it down. Bring that up. Um, there's another green. This is beginner's method, by the way. Uh, I think I'm just going to put that in the title. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. I think. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing the pair pairing if you don't know what parity is it's a it's a case that is unsolvable unless you make it solvable but it doesn't happen every solve okay here's where we need the algorithms there's two if it's like this where they're diagonal you're gonna need to do this algorithm Okay. 
now they're across. We want them across. And then you're gonna do this algorithm. Okay, now they're solved. Oh. So it could happen at the end or it could happen at like the second end. Wait, what? What the heck? I didn't know there was more pairs that I need to do. Okay, I guess you could see. Um, okay, so you you can feel fr feel free to rewind it and rewatch that. Feel free to rewind and rewatch if you missed anything. But next step, or or you need to slow down the algorithm because I did go a bit fast. But next step is the white cross. If you know three by three, well, I recommend knowing three by three. But I, I because I'm not doing another three by three, so it's horrible. So if you learn three by three, come back, and then this step will be easy to you. But if you do know three by three, great. Um, you're gonna do everything. You're gonna do this like you do with three by three. I do beginner's method, so. So I'm just gonna proceed with that. And then. I didn't get parity, but the parity algorithm goes like this. Here, I'll, I'll show. So if you did get parity. So here, let me just set it up so I do have parity. What did I just do? Oh. oh. Well. I did just mess up. Um, g give me one moment. I just need to get back to that step. I put it in the wrong orientation. I need this red to be back here. Yeah, cool. So, four by four, it kind of does get easy after you do it. For a while. My phone just, my phone storage just reached its max, so I just had to clear up the space. Okay, I have parity. So, if you have this, or there's like one bar, like this, it's not solvable with the usual 3x3 three three algorithms. So you're gonna have to do this. Wait. Oh no, that's right. Okay. And then... There we go. I probably don't do the best parody tutorials, so you could go to another video and look up parody, but... So then you just continue solving it, like, three by three, until you get corner parody. Yeah, I forget about corner parity. That's annoying. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, what you want to do if you do beginner algorithm. So, there's corner parity. <clears throat> yeah, there's... 
Yeah, so here's the corner parody. I don't do the best parody tutorials, so you you uh, can go to another video to learn parody, but I don't really know how to teach parody. And then you finish it off with the corners like you do with a 3x3. Three three. You just solve it like a 3x3, three three, so... There it is, it's solved. Hooray! Okay. Bye-bye.